Now let us know that how to represent a rational number on a number line. Here is the question. Let us represent 0, 1, minus 1, 3, minus 2 and 4 on a number line. Now in order to represent all these numbers on a number line, we have to draw a straight line first of all. Here is the straight line. Since it is a straight line, it should be extended up to infinity on both sides. Now on this straight line, let us keep some number of points at equal distances or at equal intervals like this. Here I kept some points on the number line with equal distances. Maybe it is around the middle point. Let us take it as 0. If this is 0 then these are the points on the right side to 0. The general usage is on the right, si right hand side to 0 we should represent these points with positive values plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 like this. And on the negative side of 0 there should be negative values minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Therefore the point after 0 is 1, next is 2, next this point represents 3 and the next point represents 4 plus 4 these are the positive values on the right hand side to 0 and on the left hand side to 0 let us represent these points minus 1 and this is minus 2 and this is minus 3 and so on now after representing all these points with numbers now first of all we have to represent 0 now where to find 0 on this number line you can find 0 here therefore this point represents the value 0 and let us box this. Let us box this point. The value of this point is 0. Next 1. Where can you find plus 1? Here is plus 1. Therefore let us box this 1. This is the point which represents 1. Next is minus 1. Minus 1 is here. Let us box this minus 1. The next the number 3. Where can you find plus 3 on the number line? This is the point which represents plus 3. Therefore, let us box this. Next, minus 2. You can find minus 2 here. Therefore, let us box minus 2. Next, plus 4. You can find plus 4 here. Let us box plus 4. Now, the required numbers are represented on the number line. Now, the given numbers 0, 1, minus 1, 3, minus 2, and 4 are represented on the number line. And you can find these numbers on this number line. Now let us see one more example. Here is the question. How to represent rational numbers on a number line? Let us represent 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3, 0, 2 by 3 and minus 1 on number line. Again uh, to represent all these numbers let us draw a straight line first of all. After drawing the straight line let us take three points. Let us take three points with equal intervals and let us name the middle point with 0 and let us assign 1 to the right hand side point to 0. This is plus 1 and let us assign minus 1 to the left hand side point to 0. This is minus 1. After representing this 0 and this point with plus 1 and this point with minus 1, what to do is look at we have to look at the given fractions in all the given fraction the denominator is 3 therefore the total distance from 0 to 1 is to be divided into 3 equal parts now in order to divide it into 3 equal parts let us take two points this is one point and this is the second point by means of these two points the total distance from 0 to 1 is divided into 1, 2 and 3 equal parts. All these three parts are equal. Similarly on the left hand side to 0. Again let us divide the distance from 0 to minus 1 into 3 equal parts by means of these two points. After division. Now if we observe this point. This point is at a distance of 1 unit 
from 0 out of 3 units. Therefore, this point represents 1 by 3. And this point now, this point is at a distance of 2 parts out of the total 3 parts. This point is at a distance of 1 to 2 parts from 0 out of total 3 parts. Therefore, this point may be represented with 2 by 3. Similarly, on the left hand side to 0. Here this point is one part distance out of three parts from 0 to minus 1. Therefore, this point may be represented by minus 1 by 3. And the second point now. This point is at a distance of two parts out of the total three parts from 0 to minus 1. Therefore, this is minus 2 by 3. After representing all these points with numbers, we have to find where 1 by 3 lies. If we observe this number line, it is very clear that this point represents 1 by 3. Therefore, let us box this point so that this value is 1 by 3. This point represents 1 by 3. Next is minus 1 by 3. If we observe here, we can find minus 1 by 3 at this point. Therefore, this point represents minus 1 by 3. Let us box this point. Next is 0. This is the point where you can find 0. It is very clear there. Next value is 2 by 3. Where can you find 2 by 3? This is minus 2 by 3 and this is plus 2 by 3. Therefore, let us box this point. Whose value is equal to 2 by 3. Next is minus 1. You can find minus 1 here. Therefore, let us box this minus 1. Like this, you can represent the given any rational number on the number line. First of all, this number line is a straight line. On this straight line, there are infinite number of points. Do you know what is the definition of a straight line? Straight line is nothing but set of infinite points. As there are infinite points on a straight line, every point may represent a number. Therefore, every rational number can be represented on a number line and every irrational number can also be represented on this number line every point on this number line represents a unique number understood okay thank you thank you very much